So today I'm gonna to break down how to use the LFO tools to better shape your sounds, your basses, your plucks, anything that you really wanna to fine tune and get that sound nice and tight. I'm gonna show you how to do that in a better way than using the envelope. So on YouTube nowadays, everyone's telling you to use envelope one for the main master volume, envelope two for the cutoffs, and for example, I have it on the drive over here, and then envelope three I'm using for the noise. So what I'm gonna do in this situation is I'm not going to be using envelope two to adjust the cutoff, I'm rather gonna use the LFOs and I'm gonna show you why. So just going into the project, I have a preset that I just pulled up out of one of my preset packs that I've made. And I have just a simple kick going underneath it just so you can kind of hear it in context. So this is kind of a baseline that I have going on and it would sit as simple as it can be. It's basically just a melodic techno rolling bass. So I'm gonna play it so you can hear it sounds. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to envelope two as I'm gonna go remove the modulation from envelope two. So envelope two is now not modulating the cutoff here. So play two is should this sound really dull? Yeah, so instantly what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the LFO. I'm gonna attach it straight onto my cutoff over here. Just drag it up maybe about 80% or so, 75. And if I go into my project over here, we can see that my notes that I'm playing are 16th notes so it's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 notes in one bar which means that it is a 16. so now i jump back to my lfo project over here and because my notes are 16th i'm going to change this rate to 16. so now if we take a listen all right so it is what it is now I can just bring this down and it'll just make it a plucky sound. But that would be way too simple. That would be way too easy. That wouldn't just be, that wouldn't be changing anything really. We could literally do the exact same thing with an envelope right over here. But the trick that comes in when you're handling with LFOs instead of doing envelopes, you can do stuff like this where you have the main plug coming up down. Then you want it to maybe boost up over there and then cut down like this. And you can do that inside an LFO and you can't do that inside of an envelope. So let's take a listen now. So let's just go ahead and tame this down to where, where we want it. So there you go, you can do stuff like this inside of um, inside of the LFO tools and you won't be able to do this inside of the envelopes because you can just really go in and fine tune, you can add in other parts. You can maybe want the, the, begin the beginning of the sound to be a straight pluck and then come down and then come up late in the sound like this. Raise it up. That sounds absolutely dog shit, but you know what I mean? Like you can try and use this in all different types of ways. So you can even try and make the original start of the sound really nice and low and you can bring it up, have it flat. Or you can, or you can tame it down. So now that's one way that you can use the LFOs. Another way that, that you can do is you can even add in an LFO onto the, for example, the sub right here. So I'm gonna have a sub playing. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have it set for there, bring it back up at the top to about there, and then I wanna play it out like that. Um, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this LFO onto the sub level, drag it all the way up to about 80, 90, 16th notes. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to the matrix tab, and I'm gonna to go to LFO one, it's set for the filter cutoff and I'm gonna do the auxiliary source. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the auxiliary source onto macro number two, which is there. And then we have the LFO two, which is down here. We set that for macro number two. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check this. So now what's basically happening is this has now changed into the volume for this. So what's actually happening here is as I turn this up, the cutoff is opening and this is actually being activated by the macro. So if I had a sound like this and I wanted to have maybe nothing much in the intro, but as soon as the drop hits, I wanted it to open up and bring the bass up, I can do that. 
Another thing you can do is go to LFO2 and you can assign it to macro number three. So now macro number three would be a sub level and macro number two would be the cutoff. So now what I can do is actually in the breakdown of a track, I can, I can bring up the sub. I can activate macro like LFO number two, which will activate this. And if you should just watch the level over here as I turn this down, you see it, it works less and it works less, 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 less until it turns off. So essentially what that is, it's basically turning on the sub level, turning off the sub level, same with the cutoff. You can really just go in and fine tune the LFO tools in these sections instead of using envelopes where you just are kind of stuck to how you, how you, how you want it to be. Another thing that I like about the envelope, I mean, the LFOs is that let's say I had this sound and I want it to sound a little bit different. Maybe I can just do this, add this onto the cutoff like that, and then make it maybe a bar let's see how it sounds right so you have that so now what I could do is I could add some movement in so I could do this and then what I could do is I could go to the matrix tab go to LFO 3 add it into macro number 4 and then I could adjust the volume so I could have a bit of maybe like 25% Now this sound has a bit of movement. And then the thing that I can do now with LFO number three is I can drag this onto whatever I want to drag it on. I could drag it onto the resonance, maybe have the resonance move up and down slightly as the track goes on. Could even add in a phaser or flanger into this section over here and just like have some movement going on with that track over there using the LFOs. And it's just once that I, once I figured this out, once I realized this, I've been able to make a lot more sounds sound a lot better. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up one of my bass lines that I made for a track recently and just show you how I used it in this track specifically. So envelope one, envelope two, and envelope three are basically untouched. Um, as you can see, there's no numbers next to it here, which means that all of these are off. These are basically not working at, at all. But I have LFO one working for the, uh, for the volume of my, second oscillator and then i also have it set for volume a and b so i have it set for volume a and volume b and then lfo2 i have set for my filter cutoff so what i'm going to do is then i'm just going to show you all of these and how they kind of sound so this is the sound originally right so now my filter amount is lfo2 my sub amount is lfo1 and my click amount has been set to the noise, which is basically, basically LFO3 has been set to the noise level. So I can adjust my click amount. I can basically, instead of macroing my, my, my noise, I can just macro the volume of this. So it's basically just moving this downwards, telling the, telling the plugin how much I want to modulate by. And that to me is a lot more smooth and a lot more easy, and a lot better to kind of tame and kind of figure out what what kind of sound you want if you're using the LFO. Like I've got this, um, I've got the cutoff going straight down and then smoothing out and then ending on the 16th note. So essentially what I have here is, is half notes. So essentially in this example, I would then adapt all of these to being half. Half, 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 there we go. Not bad a quarter so we go like that work it you change it to eights or sixteens and then yeah so that's one way that you can really just go in and tame your sounds to be a lot better you I would really advise using this type of method this type of sound design um, especially when you're using stuff like bass lines or plucks or ops or anything that really you have to really get that fine tuning of that sound really nice and then so yeah go ahead use it have fun with it